Hello Woods, you are currently looking at a large, uh, I shouldn't say large, but it's taller than me, wooden door. We need to work on the cut list and what it would actually take to make a cut list for things. So today, I'm going to give you the measurements of this and you're going to prepare a cut list based on how big this is and what it looks like. So we have a door. This is a recessed paneled door. Uh, how do we know that? Well, the panel on the inside is recessed. Let's point out some other things. It's made out of red oak, uh, quarter sawn red oak. How do I know it's quarter sawn? Look at the rays going across the bands, or the grain. See those, that's a clear sign of quarter sawn. In fact, if we look at end grain, you have to forgive me, it's windier than heck outside right now. If we look at end grain, hey, look at that. The grain runs up and down, so it's perpendicular at the flat side, meaning quarter sawn. And that's a great thing why we're down here looking at this too. Take a look. This is called a lap joint. Half the material from this piece here has been removed along with half the material from our top as far as thickness goes so that they can be lapped together. So keep that in mind because you're going to need that when we go to make a cutlass. So let's start off with the very basics. This door overall measures 15 and three quarter wide. The pieces measure exactly three and a half wide. So all these pieces, there's one, two, three, four pieces. They all measure three and a half inches wide. The door itself overall measures 15 and three quarter. Now, height of the door, you'll have to forgive me because I gotta take and use one hand while holding the door here, or holding the phone. Whoops. The overall height of the door is 72 inches. I know it says it's about 72 and a 16th, but the door, I don't have the tape on real good. It is 72 inches though on the dot. 72 inches tall, the entire door. The lumber itself used for this is three quarters, 0.75 inches thick. Now, on the back side, We don't need this for our cutlass, but if I have you drawn a picture, hint, hint, at some point, you would need to know this. On this side, the board only measures three and one eighth. What has happened is a groove, imagine basically like this, has been cut out, also known as a rabbit so that this panel can fit in there and just basically get glued in. So if on the other side it was three and a half wide and now it's only three and an eighth, that means three eighths of the material is hanging over right here. Oops, sorry. So there's another three eighths that's been removed. The depth of that, this is a quarter inch thick panel, hint, hint, quarter inch thick center panel. And the depth of that rabbit is three eighths of an inch thick. Now the size of my panel, I'm gonna tell you the size right now. The size of this quarter inch oak plywood panel that makes up the inside of the door. It measures 65 and three quarter tall by nine and a half wide. All right. We're not going to worry about the hinges right now and we're not going to worry about the handle typically i would tell you on your plan if you're doing that where those go but for the cutlass we're not going to worry about it now if you are curious i have the hole for these euro style hinges centered at seven inches from top and seven inches from bottom and exactly one inch in to center. So how these work is there's a hole made with a forcer bit and then these sit in there. So right there's my center line 
it's seven inches down to center and one inch over. Same with the bottom. And this one is just centered in the entire object. So you take your total distance, divide in half, and that's where that one's centered, still an inch in. For the handle, from the bottom, the handle measures at 38 and 1 8 to center and 43 and 1 8 to center. Exactly from edge, 1 and 3 quarter. All the measurements that I've set need, that you need are on here. Everything you need. We'll flip this back over. This was actually a cabinet door um, in what is now the master bedroom in my house. But this was what was in there that I had built 10 years ago. And then when we remodeled, it's no longer needed. But I just can't throw it out. I'm going to find a use for it somewhere. So all your measurements are there. Remember, it's a lap joint. So when you go to do your cut list, this piece runs the full length and this piece runs the full length this way. It's just that that's cut away. Remember your cut list. We don't care about dados and rabbits and everything else. That'll be on a plan if we ever had to draw it. So this is what I want you to do today is you're going to prepare a cut list for this door. You can do this. You should have a total of five pieces at certain sizes. Once you've made the cut list, figure out the cost for red oak. How much would this cost if I wanted to build it out of red oak? The cost of red oak right now is exactly $2.25 in my classroom. So if you're an online learner and you're wondering how much does it cost, $2.25. All right. You can do this. I have confidence in you. Try your best. Make sure you get it submitted. It's due at the end of the hour. you got plenty of time to work on this. Um... Actually, you know what? I'll have it due tonight at midnight. So if you don't get it done in class, work on it at home. That way you got plenty of time. All right. Have a great night. Uh, you know what? Cancel that. I will make it due Friday at midnight. That way you got two days to work on it. You're going to have another assignment on Friday, though. So I would work on it Thursday, you know, today. Or it's your today. Just right now, for me, it's Wednesday. So just keep an eye on it. Or uh, keep... Whew, I can't talk either. So keep that in mind. I would do this, but I'll make it do Friday at midnight. That way you have plenty of time to work on it. All right. Have a great evening. Well, have a great day for you.